it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. It's difficult to do it, Bart, because you know I I come on this show, man, every year, bro, and I have I have <laughs> I have rode the roller coaster of the Dallas Cowboys. I love them. Everybody know that I'm a fan of them, but the reality is is that they give this dude all the fuel that he <laughs> needs to do this every year, bro. Every single year. And if it ain't the team, it's the fans. If it like they give him the fuel, they fought they like it, it's like he got a spell over them. Over them. <laughs> it's like it's like Maleficent. I watch Maleficent, the movie with my daughter. It's like that. So like he I. just got Angelina, a spell Angelina on. Jolie. And, Angelina, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie, right? Jolie, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I gotta come I on it. here. I watched it. And I gotta, I gotta come on here like Seely. All's my life <laughs> I had to fight. Cause that's what I have to do every single year, bro. So, so here's the issue that I have all the time. Dallas is in a position right now um, to go to Tampa, right? Like, what better way to recreate the narrative than to go to Tampa and get a win? Like, there's no better way because all of the talk that we've had all year long, I mean, all week long about Mike McCarthy job and Dak Prescott turnovers and this team is trending in the wrong direction. If they go to Tampa and win this game, watch how it flips. It won't be them talking. It'll be every network on television talking about, ooh, Dallas got a real chance. They got a real chance to go to the Super Bowl. They got a real shot to get there. That's what the talk is going to be. Boy, I'm not saying I'm going to say that. But you know how this is going to flip if they go to Tampa and win this game. And the issue for me is this, bro, because Stephen A. is right. Everything that my beloved Cowboy fan base has fell into, they ain't talking about the game. It's been about Mike McCarthy job. It's been about Dak Prescott interceptions. It's been about the Washington Commanders game. It's been about what we don't have, what, what we traded away. That's like, bro, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm getting questions. No, bro, people are already <laughs> acting like Mike McCarthy is 0-2 in the playoffs. And this is his second loss. It's already, bro, it is, they are so afraid of yeah. the, the, the talk if Dallas don't win this game. And they don't understand. I, and I get it. Because who cares about Swagoo? He got to come on this show with this crazy man every year and wait for what he says to come to fruition. All right? I don't fall into the trap of Stephen A. when it comes to the Super Bowl, Bart. We played. We know how hard it is to win a Super Bowl. I yeah. don't think Dallas is going to win the Super Bowl every year. Some other people do. And as fans, you should. But can, can, I, make a, can I make just a plea? To my fellow <laughs> Cowboy fans, hey, can, can we stop letting people drive the narrative and just go play the damn game? Can we just get to the game and let the game be played? Let Jerry talk. Let Mike McCarthy talk. Let Dak talk. Let Zeke talk. And they got to because they being asked questions through the media. But can I not get DMs and messages <laughs> about who the next coach going to be? Or what they going to do when they lose this game? How they going to let Tom Brady beat them? They ain't played yet. <laughs> and that's why Stephen A. has so much success with these damn fans. Because he literally gets them riled up about something that ain't happened yet. <laughs> let the game happen, Dallas Cowboy fans. And then we'll talk about whatever the outcome is. And you can either have outrage or you can be happy. And let me make one more plea to my Dallas Cowboy fans. Oh, if we win this game, <laughs> stay humble. Okay, please don't say we going to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> there will be two more games left before you can actually go play that game. All right, Bartholomew, go well, ahead. I had to get that off my head. Listen, attitude reflects leadership. And the leadership says that we are going to talk about what we do before we do it. And it starts with Jerry Jones and his Bro. weekly radio show. Then it trickles down to Mike McCarthy Bro. talking about failures, how you succeed. You learn more from failing than succeeding. That's the biggest crack. You know what? It's just I've heard in a long time. And what happens is now we have to talk about the consequences. Listen, Stephen, they sit back and enjoy this one. Because the reality of, of this is <laughs> not only are they in an unwinnable situation, because if they win, they're supposed to be the 46-year-old quarterback that 
that has a below 500 record. They're supposed to do that. The problem is their next reservation is probably with the Super Bowl favorite. So the mandate is to make it to the deep into the playoffs. And if they don't make it deep in the playoffs, what are the consequences for that? And that's the big story. Because the elephant in the room is that Kellen Moore, Dan Quinn are going to get head coaching opportunities to go somewhere else. So now you have to pick between your favorite children. Do you love Mike McCarthy? Do you love Kellen Moore? Who are you going to choose to be the next head coach? Now, traditionally, Jerry Jones and what he did with Jason Garrett is, you know, he, he gave Promote. Jason Garrett a, an, an extension when he was supposed to be the next head coach of the Baltimore Ravens. He turned that job down. Dan Quinn did that same thing next year. So Mike McCarthy is, should be going into this game feeling a bit nervous about himself because understanding that he gets none of the, none of the praise, all of the blame. If the defense does well, that's Dan Quinn. If the offense does well, that's Kellen Moore. <sighs> if they have penalties, and clock management, Mike well, McCarthy. He's on deck. He's walking the mile. Bar, bar. And... Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.